Okay, Bastillion Code is in the woods. And as you can see, these are all young trees. They have no 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 roots to them. And look at this, the way they're all over the place. They, they weren't from these young trees up here, that's for sure. They're not much bigger, those trees are not much bigger than these things laying on the ground. This is near the new place I found last last uh, winter I believe yeah it was during hunting season look at this look at all this stuff it's crazy it was all dragged in here look at this see that thing running between the trees no root no root nothing has roots just broken pieces of trees brought in. I believe now I'm down further from where I was last year. Uh, there's stuff everywhere. It's unbelievable. Look at this. You want to see something crazy? Look at that tree. The way it's hung, it's a fork and it's placed in a fork over there. It's placed inside a fork and it runs across. Here's another. This has got to mean something to them. I mean, what's with all this? Is a triangle. See that? This thing that runs across, where is it? There it is, it runs across. Oh. I'll keep walking here. I just hope this thing don't run out of my batteries don't get exhausted because I put two fresh ones in. that an X? Could be. See, these things don't have any roots. They're trees and no roots. See, this big thing here, no root right there. And it runs across, and oh, it's, it's crazy. I can't figure this out. I never seen anything like this. All these things here, no roots, just broken. Like it's a. Uh, a dumping ground for Bigfoot. Look at this. This runs through and up. It's a dumping ground. That's what it looks like. And now here, here's a tree with a root. This is the way a tree would look if it fell over root and all. There you go, right there. 
Ah, and there's one down there. Does he say that? Those are the only two trees I found with roots. Oh no, there's one right here. The third one, these three. They must have been down for a long time because they uh, have more. They have moss on them, whereas God, ah, thorns. Whereas these uh, all these trees I've been showing you have no moss on them. They're no bark, no moss. Just dry trees. <sighs> I'm going to walk down to the area where I was uh, this past winter when I first found this place. I'll get back to you. Look at all this. All these branches, small trees, all in this one area. Now they didn't come from here, that's for sure. There's not enough big trees, big old trees to to have big branches like this. You see that? One? See this thing? This is not from here. That's oh that this tree here. Do you see this big tree trunk? Uh, this is from that see it, this is this piece here was over here and that's the tree falling that way okay This is nice. Here's two trees, parts of trees that are in that fork of a tree, which was or triad. It's got three limbs going up. Here's another section like that. Look at this. Look, God, I wish you could see all these trees and branches and whatever the hell they are like I can because I'm looking in at my uh, screen and it's so bright I can hardly make it out so I'll just uh, show you what I can there's so much of it it's unbelievable like I said it's like a a dumping yard for Bigfoot. Look at this. They're everywhere. All broken. No root. And it's unbelievable. It really is. It really is something. Occasionally, I'll see a tree with a root that fell over, like this one right in front of me. See that? That fell over and it has a root. And see, uh, all the ones that fell over with roots have moss on them. But all these trees and smaller trees whatever and big branches have nothing on them you see 
moss, moss, that one there has moss, these here have moss, but the ones behind me, no moss, which is really strange. this go down this here's an old tree that went down but it's got moss on it See? that's weird Oh wow, look at this. Oh well, look at this. God knows how old this thing is. You see the water in there? Let me go around. You can see the water. This is an old well. Unbelievable. It's about four feet in diameter. And the water is still in there. God knows how old this thing is. Must be... Before the Revolutionary War. In the 1700s. Gosh, unbelievable. Okay, that's about all I can show right now. Unbelievable. The well. And the fa Oh, yeah, now I know where I am. Here's the foundation of the house. If it was a foundation, I'm not sure. What else could it be? Look at this, see? This damn sun, is, I can't even see what's on the screen. Look at that. Look at all that. I hope it shows up better. Look. Must have been a fortress. And there's a big tree in the center of it, and it's deep. I don't know if this is the same one I saw during the winter. Maybe, may not be. <clears throat> I was watching a program this morning about giants in uh, this part in the northeastern part of the United States that built whatever the hell they built out of stone and look at this I don't I don't know I'm not sure I don't know if humans would have built their homes dug them deep like this. This is about five feet deep or more. Dug them that deep and placed all these stones around them. They always found. Let me get back to you so I can get a better picture. Okay, look at this. Look at these stones, how big they are. Could humans have carried this? It's about four feet wide and maybe six, seven feet long. I don't know. Then the wall went tumbling down. I mean, look at the size of some of these stones. 
They were un it's unbelievable. I can't believe it. I can't believe humans did this. And the stones they used in the Northeast and then in New York, Pennsylvania, they were these type of stone. And this thing was dug down deep and all these stones placed around it. And the Native Americans always told about giants that lived, you know, in the area before they did. Look at this, this is crazy. I can't believe humans did this. You know, they would just build a log cabin or something. Why go through all this trouble? crazy look at the, the size of these stones who the hell's gonna carry that a horse couldn't even drag that oh god I can't figure it were they made by humans or were they made by those giants they talk about in the Northeast. Well, okay, that's it for now. This is, uh, something crazy. I, I, uh, other researchers mention these blue balloons those uh i don't know what kind of what they're made out of but there's one in here and supposedly bigfoot uh likes the color blue or something That's, that would have been the corner of this building. And these rocks are starting to tumble over. Not a uh, slate, whatever you call it, a blue slate. And it's big, look at this. This one here must weigh hundreds of pounds, more than hundreds, uh, whatever. Look at this. I'm inside it now. And I said it was five foot. And in places it is five foot, but where I am it was just now, it was about four, it's about four, four and a half feet, not quite five. But look at these stones. Unbelievable. The friggin' sun is behind me, <clears throat> and it's uh, making my screen really light so I can't see it. Here's another corner that's pretty much intact. See that? But there's, like I said, the st size of some of these stones. Would humans do this kind of work? Instead of building uh, a regular a regular, here, yeah, a regular, oh boy, my brain is going, timber, We're making a house out of timber, a log, a log house, whatever, a timber log house. You you won't believe some of the the sizes of these things. This is the one I said is about six feet. It's sticking up there. Where is it? Oh no wonder. That's it. That's the top of it near the top of the screen, and it goes down, and it's buried under here. It's buried. So it's definitely six feet or more. 
who the hell's going to carry this thing? And there's other ones. There's one over there about four feet by four feet square. Let me go to the other side. I can't believe this stuff. I really can't. This is amazing. You know, you know, at first when I saw it, I thought it was humans did this. Then I saw that program this morning on the internet about the giants of the Northeast that built, the, built these things. Look at this. Look how thick that is. Look, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look. Oh, God. I wish I knew the history of this place. I gotta see if I could look it up on the internet. I don't even know the name of this area, to tell you the truth. I don't. I think it's Bradford County. But this is really unbelievable. And, uh, like I said, those giants use this type of stone. So, if they lived here, they must have graves here somewhere. Or maybe this was their grave. I can't get myself to leave this place. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. God. I just got to show some more and then I'm going to get my ass out of here. But this, this, this stone amazes me. This one here. That's behind the tree. Look at it. Look how th it's about six inches thick and six inches long, four inches wide, uh, four feet wide, and six feet long. Who the hell's gonna carry that? A horse? No fucking way. Even drag it? Maybe, I don't know. I doubt it. Like I said, why not just build a log cabin? Instead of going through all this friggin' hell. Alright. I'm shutting off. Okay, I'm back to my car. And, uh, I gotta come back here and really check this place out. Because I, I don't know if that's human built or... Like they mentioned, those giants that lived in the Northeast that was seven, eight feet tall. <sighs> Alright, talk to you later.